How you guys doing? Uh, welcome to the Outcast uh, Unemployment Cooking Show. I am here on Doughboy's sailboat. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossing. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be how you guys doing? Uh, welcome to the Outcast uh, Unemployment Cooking Show. I am here on Doughboy's sailboat. If you did not hear that at the beginning, for all of you followers, I know you might want to comment into it. You do have to sign up for Twitch to actually, actually, you know, put comments in and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, if not, just enjoy the show. If you have any questions, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on my YouTube. Subscribe, please, please, please. Thank you very much. Um, but today we have really something super interesting for you uh, for being on the boat up here and uh, we'll show you a little bit outside here in a little bit. But uh, right now uh, we are going to make our version of chicken and waffles. Uh, Dobe is always the master of, uh, you could say, the waffle iron. So uh, last time he brought to us, he actually gave us some tater tots waffles that were absolutely amazing. Um, if you did try those, make sure you pile those things on. When I made them, I didn't pile them on, but after that we made a couple more and we piled those tater tots all on there, crushed it down, a lot of grease comes off of it, but it really makes a really good uh, tater tot. Uh, I mean, for hash browns, I mean, in a sense, yeah. yeah. So today uh, we are going to be making chicken waffles, our version. So hope you like it. On uh, what we have going on, we do have a skillet with a little bit of oil and we do have uh, we have a waffle iron kind of going on. I was going to do the whole breading and stuff like that of the chicken, but it just takes too long. So I just kind of pre-made that. And this is what we came up with. So uh, we used shake and bake, extra crispy. But it's crispy like fried. Can I tell? It's shake and bake, and I help. Shake and bake coating mix. It's better than fried. We used flaming hot Cheetos. We had to go buy a new bag. Yeah, because we opened one bag and then Larry ate it all. I so am. I, I don't know. Like, anyways. <laughs> uh, and then a little bit of flour. So we did the egg wash as usual, just how you're normally breading chicken. A little bit of egg wash, a little bit of flour. And actually, Rick, if you're out there, he gave me the great idea. I actually used the bags for the shake and bake to actually use it for the. And we made these ones a little bit extra for you, Rick, like where it's actually a little bit more chunkier. Uh, uh, of the Fritos, so maybe this will work, maybe it won't, but it, I did get them covered up pretty good, if you could see. Um, they're actually looking really good, and, and and the best part about it, and, and Larry came up with this, is actually getting a rotisserie chicken that's already pre-made, so, uh, and we just cut it up, and we just, we, we put it all out there, and then we floured it and properly, and, and this is what we came up with. So, first we're going to start off with Doughboy here, and he's going to go ahead and start taking the reins on this. So we were gonna make waffles, but you know last time I didn't have any waffle mix, we decided to throw tater tots on there and they worked really well. So this time, uh, this is from my um, family out here that boats with me. Every morning, they use cinnamon rolls and actually make waffles out of them. So we just said, we're making chicken and waffles, let's go crazy. So we're gonna use these cinnamon rolls. And do we talk about doubling them up? By any chance, or? Yeah, we can do yeah. that. No, we, you know, know, we didn't even need it last time. Yeah, yeah. No, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. So you could double it up if you want. We just put one on each of these corners here and kind of smash them out a little bit. They get pretty smashed out anyway. And uh, one thing you guys got to realize that I'm on a boat, so if you guys start getting seasick, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to keep this as steady as possible. We're going to cook that, and then we got a little pork so we can open up and let our smoke out so that the smoke alarm doesn't go off. Nice. There we go. That'll work out perfect. All, All right. right. All right, so that's the first step. Sorry if you guys have a problem seeing it with No, no, actually it works out pretty well. At least <laughs> not really uh, 
We're worried about a little bit of light actually fluttering Bill's and stuff like that. Bill's very cinnamon rolls. The choice. Well, so we, and you actually don't use the icing. We don't use the icing on any of this stuff. So um, that's it. The chicken, use a fork and you can just put it in how you need it. Yep. I'm just gonna toss these suckers in there. Try to keep those crunchies on there. Who doesn't like a little Cheetos flaming hot as our uh, breading? Throw those suckers in the oil there, get those fried up there pretty good. Yeah. We did a test run on this stuff the other day. Oh my. Oh wow. Actually. Yeah, because this boat is named Oh Wow. So oh, wow. And the next boat will be Oh No. Yes. And then and Oh My. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's going to get his $100 million yacht. That, that's coming soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> All right, let me uh, shut the music Ooh. down just in case we get any kind of copyright infringements and then we that. won't be able to play this anymore. <laughs> uh, we'll try to download it faster than they could actually get it to us, though. So. <laughs> what do you think? That's gas plenty. I mean, we're All right. So we just let that go. We did between three to five minutes on the uh, first side, I'd say, on the uh, chicken. And uh, that will actually take it uh, pretty good for us. And again, it's pre-cooked because it's rotisserie. So really, everything here, um, ooh, here we go. Yeah, this one's about quick. Those suckers are done. You can see, 45 seconds. <laughs> uh, they said about 45 quick. seconds on the waffles. Um, those look pretty good. Yeah, those look perfect. What do you think? Yeah, I would say 45 seconds is right. exactly what the number we are looking for. Ouch. Hot. <laughs> All right, we haven't blown a fuse yet. That's good. On a boat, you can't plug too many things in. Yeah, and we have a lot of Breakers popped. In. <laughs> we do have the air conditioning going <laughs> on top of everything else, so. <laughs> yep. And on a boat, uh, you got to have your boat crack, which uh, we have this. This will keep you alive. Again, got some raisins, some chocolate chunks, some peanuts, and the uh, candy corn. Thank you, Renee, for that she, recipe. She uh, gives us this to fatten us all up. This stuff is really addicting. I've kind of been <laughs> munching it down. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> called boat crack, all right? And what you do is you take some candy corn, stick some of those in there, take some planter dry roasted salted peanuts, Looks good. Stick that in there. All right. A lot of peanuts. Do some uh, Nestle Toll House semi-sweet morsels. Boom. Throw those in there. And some sun-made raisins. And you have what's called boat crack. All right. Oh, we got plenty. Look at that. And we'll put some more peanuts in there to finish it off. Uh, and before we stick our hands in there, we use TriCleanse hand sanitizer. Hands off and wash your hands. Wash your hands. Look it smells out. like like black licorice or something. It has like it, a, it's an you can almost smell like a rum or something. <laughs> I swear to God. Ah, it smells nice, and it moisturizes your hand at the same time. It's pretty nice. All right. Anyway, so, no wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Uh -uh. Oh yeah, we. Oh, that, you know what? We did forget about that. We are actually going to put some bacon inside of oh. the cinnamon uh, thing. So we actually have some bacon bits. Bacon bits. Um, that we are actually going to sprinkle all around everywhere. So like, just basically, uh, thanks for the suggestion there, uh, RJ Mitch. Uh, yeah, we thought about that yesterday, and uh, like, yeah, that would actually be really good. So we're actually going to go ahead and put. We have the bacon bits somewhere hidden around here. They're probably dry. They're probably over in that left-hand cabinet. Right? Maybe. Yeah, they shouldn't be any. Should be just a salad thing. That's all right. Take it right out. Try to no. Sorry. Yeah, right. we're good. All right. So, I don't know what happened to the bacon bits. We did have. Them. They were. They were. They were planned. Trust me. We had the plan for the bacon bits. This guy right here. <laughs> Probably ate him. We're gonna DJ. Play, we're gonna He's play our DJ. boat dog. He's like a little marmot. Just eats anything and everything that's within his reach. So. 
Nazi of the bacon bits. Bacon bits are gone. <laughs> DJ ate them. <laughs> Damn me. I don't see anywhere. Okay, so all right, let's go past go past the bacon bits. Um, so one thing we're gonna do as we build these waffles, we have a hot sauce, and we have a honey hot sauce. And so what we use for the honey hot sauce is we use some clover honey, and we use some Tabasco with the lime, uh, half a lime squeezed into it, and we use some of this Welling Weller, the original Special Reserve. Uh, you know, I, um, it actually has what do you say kind of a taste to oh, it? It's a uh, caramel and butterscotch. It has a, a butterscotch uh, caramel taste, caramel and, butterscotch. and we we add that a little bit into the sauce. So uh, we use probably about a half of. Uh, bottle of the honey, um, a half a bottle of Tabasco, and then a good little splash of the bourbon and the lime is what we kind of recommend. And we came up with this amazing sauce that will probably end up drizzling it all over the place. So that's all right. Get up. Get bacon's over the bacon. gone. Bacon's gone. Bacon's <laughs> gone. Let's move on right. from the bacon. <laughs> We don't know what happened to the bacon, but it is gone. So yeah, what we do is just kind of pan fry this stuff on there. So that's pretty good. And uh, now we'll just grab a couple plates here and show you how this all. all this <laughs> Where is the bacon? We don't. You know, there's only like a few places. And we just took bacon bits and put them right on the uh, these guys before we put them in the waffle yeah. it, it worked great. And you look um, in both of those coolers. Maybe it got thrown away. Empty. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. It must have got tossed. Yeah. Which I don't know why. So. Well. Or DJ. We're gonna blame DJ, you know. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. So, so anyway, thank you for uh, joining us today. Uh, means a lot to me. Every guy, every week, you guys show up and hang out with me for, you know, a brief minute, thirty. You try to do about a half hour. I'll show you how to make one of these real quick here. So we just take the chicken and put it right on the waffle there. Okay. All right. We're gonna come down and give you guys a little more bird's eye view of this. And then, you can imagine some bacon on this, all right? Even yes, like whole strips of bacon. Yes. Then we got to get a little spoon here. Here's our honey uh, hot sauce. Take a little bit of this and just kind of... I was like, you could just drizzle it right out of that. Drizzle it right on there. Yeah. This stuff's beautiful. It's got a great taste. And we found it, we went a little bit more honey than the uh, Tabasco. So there we go. That's beautiful. That's really nice. What do you think? A little bit oh, more? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think it's perfect. You can make it go around there to make it look pretty like you're a chef. <laughs> <laughs> that lime, just a little bit of bourbon there is perfect. Then, to top it all off, we use vanilla ice cream. Heck yeah. And we got multi layers going on here. And it just, uh, your taste buds just go crazy with all this going on. Mm -hmm. um, recommend uh, Tillamook, what was it, Tillamook? Tillamook, yes. Tillamook uh, vanilla ice cream. Yes. Um, I, uh, the store was out of that. Uh, yes. So I did get some Briars homemade vanilla, which should be pretty good as long as it's soft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's looking really nice and soft. So Just take a little chunk of that and put it right on top there. Again, I use the, uh, the hand sanitizer, so we're all good. <laughs> and, yeah, then, we're good. and then, put a little of our, we have the crown maple syrup. It's a Madagascar vanilla infused maple syrup. And then we can do a little drizzle of this stuff here. Look at that. Say what? <laughs> oh wow. I'll make another one really quick here so we can share. Sure. And a little drizzle here. It really is. I mean, it, right with the ice cream, uh, the, 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 the Tabasco and the, the the hot sauce really, you get the and the flaming hot, you get that really hot burning sensation with the vanilla ice cream. It just cools it right on down, and you just get all these bursts of just goodness in your mouth when you're there. So that's what you're doing, and just a little bit. He's gonna put a little bit more syrup on there and just sprinkle it on over. There we go. Rick and Dave, we have Bam. plenty left over if you guys are hungry. And we'll come back. Move it over here for Mikey. You gotta get the right. Cheeto. Let's see, the that Cheeto. On there. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I mean, I think we're on to something here. Uh, sorry, you guys might there have just got a vibration from my phone. And I think we're, I think we're in camera. Let me see if I move it back just a little. 
just get a fork full of everything going on here. Yeah, you just you just put it all on here, man. Yeah. And if you right. see the bite, what you're kind of looking for. This looks beautiful. And uh, cheers. Thank cheers. Thank you, sir, for being a great friend. Good guy <laughs> right here, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, like that, it's not everything. It's just it doesn't get any better now. I mean, mm. except for the bacon. But mm -hmm. wow! Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! You get you get that heat, and the heat is just it constantly gets a little hotter. But as soon as you get to that point where it's just too much, the ice cream, just a little bit of ice cream, soothes it out, oh. and it just washes it all down. I appreciate you coming into town, buddy. First time back in Ohio in nine years. Nine so years. That's Mike it. and I played uh, high school soccer together, and uh, yeah. we've made friends since. And uh, throughout the years, we've always just yep. been a part of each other's life somewhere along the line. Hmm. My goodness. And today we're at Cedar Point. If anybody knows about that, it's like open that up and then yeah. give you a little look at what's going on outside and where Larry is. We're very fortunate in Ohio to have Cedar Point, and we're at the marina at Cedar Point. Summer doesn't count until you visit the coaster capital of the world, Cedar Point. Never let a great day go to waste. I highly recommend this. This is so good, and that, that ice cream, Briar's, the homemade ice cream. Yeah, it does the trick. Man. Oh my god. I know. Like that. But I just want to thank you guys for showing up. Uh, next week, we'll probably have another little something special for you. Not sure if we're going to do the cooking yet. We might have something, but we'll be oh, right yeah. on. Yeah, we're going to do cooking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to do cooking. Um, and we'll probably be right on time, about 2 o'clock on the East Coast, 11 o'clock on the West Coast. Hello to all my West Coast friends if you guys are hanging out. I highly recommend making this, with the, especially with the cinnamon rolls. So good. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for joining, and thank you. Make sure you love one each other. Make sure you guys are safe. And, uh, you know, be cautious. Crazy world right now. Make sure you vote, wear your mask, and, uh, you use know, hand sanitizer. use hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, you guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you for showing up.